Now it's time for some street food. But I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to put that on the big channel. Sorry. Take you guys around just to show you what's up and then I'll make a couple food videos for the big channel. So let's just go over here for a sec. Hello. 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 We got hot dog. And we got squid. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna eat squid. I swear. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's good. And you got bananas. I saw somebody eat one of these. I'm not sure. I guess it's like uh, strawberries are inside strawberry there. Candy. Strawberry candy. Strawberry candy. I mean, and then we got this pizza. <laughs> Candy pizza. Oh, check that out. Mm. Holy pork. Of course, we gotta do these eventually. Octopus balls. Shish kebabs. Pork? Beef. Beef. Oh, that's good. Fried chicken. Yeah. English sign, yay! <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, that's good. Dessert, and the ice cream. I'm not sure which ones I want to do. There's like three. So I think I'll do three videos and that'll be my lunch for today. Well, after some consideration, I thought, why not put one food video for you guys and one for the big channel? So I did one earlier, I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but I wanted to try this beef and I think it's like five dollars or five hundred yen. What? One. Oh yeah, yummy. It's like a soy sauce? Yes. So it looks like he barbecues it first and then throws it on the grill. There's a procedure. Oh, and then back on the grill. 500? 500. Thank you. I got though. So he gave it to me in this bag. I tried to get him not to give it to me in the bag, but it might come in handy, I guess. So I'm gonna try and hold it with one hand. There's nowhere to put my camera down, so bear with me, people. Check this out, oh yeah. Is that worth 500, 500 yen? This, it used to be 600, it's down to 500. Maybe he's getting panicky and trying to sell them all. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. That is yummy. Got some fat to it. 
but whatever the sauce is, it is definitely, it adds to the flavor of this. Mmm. Would you buy that or what? I would. There's a bunch of stuff here. You, you gotta try. 500. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm being photobombed by a sucker. By a sucker. That's funny. The last thing I ate for the other channel is like all in my beard. It dripped on my shirt. The thing they gave it to me in flipped over, made a mess all over their table. <laughs> It was a disaster. So I'm trying, oh, I got one right there too. Damn it. The flavors of that are just outstanding. If you were here right now, I'd share it with you. On my face, of course, how else do you eat it with one hand? This is a go out and get it now. If you're ever in Osaka. By the Osaka Castle. Check out this vendor guy and ask for some beef on a stick. Because it's yummy. Give it a shot. That kid's hungry too. He's going to catch his own food. <laughs> He's hungry. He's going to eat it. Ah. And they got beer here. The beer is 500 yen, which is about. 300 yen too much, so too rich for my blood. Water's 200. I've got my own water. All right, guys, let's move on. Now I'm going to be heading over to uh, Nanawa Bridge, and it has four regal lions adorn a iconic and historical stone bridge, which leads to Naka Nakanoshima Park. Let's go do that. What I noticed is I thought for a second that I missed the sakura trees, the, the cherry blossoms. This whole area is all cherry blossom trees, but as close examination and the fact that the grounds are not littered with pink petals, uh, I'm early. So hopefully by next weekend or sometime between now and next weekend, maybe when I'm in Tokyo, they'll be in full bloom. But uh, it's funny, last year I was kind of on the tail end of it. It just depends on the year, right? Last year was on the tail end of it. So when we had that uh, YouTube party, uh, all the all the sakura trees had dropped their petals in, in Tokyo anyway. When uh, Paul and I were near his place or into the mountains near uh, Mount Fuji, there were lots of sakura trees in full bloom, which was great. Anyway, we're getting really close to the bridge. Let's go check it out. to the Nanawa Bridge. Uh, the sun's just peeking out, but it's actually starting to rain, sprinkle a little bit. So I'm so glad I chose to walk. It's probably like 40 minutes, because I'm like stopping and starting and stopping and starting. So it was about a 40 minute walk from 
from the castle, but it's totally worth it. Walk along the river, there's so much stuff I saw. It's incredible, incredible people. Let's get some shots of this bridge and then get to some protection. Beautiful architecture, love stuff like this. It just makes my video so much better. And this part right here kind of reminds me of Chicago. If any of you guys live in Chicago or have been to Chicago, this has that whole Chicago Batman feel. You know, Batman was shot in Chicago, right? Just the whole bridges over the small river. Cool. There's a beautiful building over there. Let's go check it out. another kilometer away from my destination. And I just happened to walk past this beautiful shop with all these amazing dessert looking things. And I was just looking around and she came and gave me that. Look at that, isn't that amazing? So I believe uh, this is called Chidori Manji. And it says, and she gave me this piece of paper, which is great. So it's a traditional Japanese confection. Uh, sweet white bean paste is covered by soft baked cake and uh, some tea I would imagine so Let's give this a shot. I need a little, little toothpick mm. Check that out people That is good I'm trying to um, Place that. It's like a, definitely a nice soft cookie. Hmm. Kind of granular, very soft granular. But it tastes amazing. I'm gonna have to buy some now. It's a trick. They give you free stuff like this and treat you like a king. I don't know, there's like beans. It's like a bean. A bean tea? Mm -hmm. It's like bean tea, a tea that you can drink and eat. I'm missing my three. Mm. It won't come out. I feel bad. I'm gonna try and get them out. That's probably wrong. That's very nice. Now I have to buy some because I don't feel bad. It's good though. Hopefully they're like a small pack. Arigato. And I have to buy some. Okay, they suckered me in and I bought some take home. But that's the name of the shop. If you can read that. I don't know what the intersection is, but you might recognize anybody from Osaka. That's the shop right there. Early on, I picked a smaller street because it was more direct street to get to my location. And I realized it was between two major streets like this. And it is, what, one, two, three, four, five, like 10 lanes across. Very, very large street. And then I looked up and there is an overpass that's gotta be 100 feet. Check that out. 
about a hundred foot. There's multiple layers of highway going through the middle of the city. It is insane. That is so cool. And of course, there's a hard rock cafe with the back end of a Cadillac, a pink Cadillac. Very nice. There's Gene Simmons boots, I'm hoping. I don't know if that's a real costume or not. Never been this close to them. I don't know if those are real. Or borrowed or remade or knockoffs. And right underneath the highway is a shopping center. And it goes all the way over to here. And they got highways on top of them. Just walking down the street and there's a McLaren. What a beautiful car. Jeez. That's better than a Lamborghini, I think. Okay, just down the street from the McLaren shop, we've got the Lamborghini Osaka. I'm sure you need an appointment. There's the black one. Unless you want it in gold. Then you can have the gold one. And they got a Lamborghini SUV. Are you kidding? Didn't know that. Oh, it's a, what's that called? A hard top convertible? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's my car right there. Yeah, I'd rather have that than the McLaren. That's just sexy. So I turned off the main street and look at this freaking cool street that I found. Fully covered and it looks like it goes on for kilometers. So cool. And you got these people trying to sell you stuff. is insane it is crazy there's probably tens of thousands of people walking up and down these streets and it is only a Tuesday at five o'clock in the afternoon so where all these people come from I have no idea so I can't wait for this area to get crazy when it gets nighttime apparently this is a very famous nightlife area and they got lots of amazing lights people. I think I've got onions all over my teeth right now. Wow. I just did a takoyaki. Ta takoyaki. It is stuck in my teeth. Green onions all sliced up really fine and it sticks to your teeth everywhere. All right, let's check out some more of this street. <laughs> Apparently that guy is famous. I'm not sure why. This guy's cutting up a tuna. Beat. It's seven o'clock at night. I'm going back to my room and going to bed. Thanks for stopping by.